Hey guys, in this video, we will learn how to integrate admin theme in Laravel application. So let's get started with the example. So first of all, you can see that I already downloaded fresh Laravel application and you can see that it's running over here in local 8000 port. Okay. And now let me go. And first of all, I, I am looking for SB admin. There is a bootstrap admin theme. Okay. And if you go to live, you can see that preview. So you can see that it's simple and clean. So this theme we will integrate into the Laravel. Okay. So let me go here and first of all, download it. So if I click on download, it's a free. So simply click on it. Okay. And now let me go here into the, my download folder. Okay. So simply go here and click to download. Okay. And simply double click on it. You can see that it extract over here. And if I click on it and let me go and open the index page. Yeah. You can see that it's index page over here. It's loaded perfectly. Okay. Now our Laravel page is, you can see here, it's something like this way looking. Okay. So what I will do, first of all, I will create new page that's called home. Okay. And simply put that HTML over there. Okay. So what I will do simply go here and create uh, one route before route. I will create one controller. So let me create PHP artisan Mac controller and I will call home controller. Okay. And next I will create route. So I will say route get and i will simply say home okay and what we already created home controller so i will say home controller column column class okay and then it should be a index method simply save it and let me use the home controller over here okay and simply say home controller simply save it okay inside the home controller Okay, I will simply create one another method that's called index method. So I will simply return view and I will simply create home. Okay, and simply save it. And here I will simply go here and let me create new file and that's called home.plat.php. Okay, and here simply save it. And what I will do first, let me go here and there is an index page. So simply open with sublime editor okay and simply you can see here and simply copy this and entire thing and paste it over here okay and simply save it now let me go and run the project okay and simply serve it okay and what i will do simply go here and click home and hit enter you can see that that admin theme is loading over here but if you go here and control you then you can see that that css is not loading properly because not found that we need to make it First of all, that all CSS image and vendor that I will simply copy this. Okay. Control C and then I will go to my project folder. So that's called video and yeah, there is a Laravel pro. Okay. So I'm going to find that Laravel pro over here and inside the public folder, I will create new folder. So that's called admin theme over here. Okay. And inside admin theme, I will put all the folders like CSS, JS and vendor and all. Okay. I will remove this index because we don't require index over here. Okay. Yeah. So you can see that it's simple. Now let me go here. And first of all, I will go and yeah, I will simply use as set functions. Okay. And first of all, I will give the path so that way admin theme okay slash we need to give css okay so entire path i given over here because if you go here inside the public folder we created admin theme folder and inside the admin theme folder there is a css folder same thing i given simply ref save it okay and if i go here and refresh it you can see that design is loading perfectly but some of the charts and all that's not coming because still we need to give for js okay so same thing I need to give the proper path. So I will go to the end and here you can see that it's already given the script path. Okay. So I will simply say asset. Okay. And here I will be say admin theme. Okay. And then vendor. So I will copy this and paste it over here. Okay. Same, I, same thing. I will do it over here. So I will copy this and this entire path. I will copy it. Control X and paste it over here. Again, I will do same thing. So everywhere I will put it quickly so we can do it quickly. So same thing, paste it. Okay, and let me quickly do it. So Control X and here I will be simply paste it. Same thing, JS folder. So Control X 
and yeah inside the admin theme same thing it's already given the path so control x and simply paste it over here and same thing i will do from the js folder so i will see control x and paste it over here and same thing control x and then simply paste it so it's for all the js file we give on the path proper and now if i go and refresh the home page you can see that it's load chart and all the perfectly fine okay now what we need to do okay so i will create another page that's called like profile okay so let me go here and let me create one another route over here so that's called profile for example and i will simply say profile and here i will be create another button sorry another function that's all profile okay simply save it and hit here simply return profile black file simply save it okay and now let me go here inside the resource i will create another file and simply say profile dot blad dot php simply save it and same thing i will do home page copy over here and paste it over here and i will change the content that uh, if i go here and i will say profile so i will simply change this content okay so simply go here and let me go to the top over here yeah this is the sidebar so i simply pay okay and this is the content okay yeah copyright yeah, we don't require this model and all so i will simply remove this okay and here inside the content there is a now bar and there is a conflict so here i will say profile okay and inside this card yeah this is the card and this all the cards i will remove just keep one for now okay for demo and if i go to the profile you can see that only one and still there is a okay simply remove the other row as well so simply go here and this two as well i am going to remove okay simply save it and refresh you can see that only earning monthly so that's only keep there okay so for profile i will create one form over here so i will simply say d class call md12 simply okay and there will be some add lorems over here so i will say lorem save it okay and if i go here and let me go and i will say profile and hit refresh you can see that there is a profile page okay and i will also create another page that's called settings so same thing i will do over here and create another route for it okay and that's called settings okay and here same thing i will create another method settings save it okay and let me go to the controller and i will create another over here so i will say return view and i will say settings save it okay and at the end semicolon i will create another so simply settings dot blad dot php okay save it same thing i will copy the profile page entire page and then i will simply change the content over here that's called profile and that's called settings okay and simply go here and i will simply say settings okay and yeah there is index method so i will go here and that's called settings save it okay and here refresh it you can see that there is a settings page there's a profile page and there is a you know home page and later on in your project there is a more pages are coming like country modules like product modules order modules and all but if you can see that i created three pages right now home page profile page and settings but all page has started from the like you know html from head tag and body tag and all so we can reduce this all entire like all the pages we don't need to use this css and all the things is automatically we can use and we can create our own theme setup okay so using the laravel blad we will create our own theme setup so first of all i will create here one folder that's called new folder and i will say admin theme okay inside that i will create simply new and i will say default dot bag dot php okay and simply i will copy entire thing over here and paste it okay and now what i will do simply go here and this is the sections that for sidebar you can see over here written so what i will do i will simply cut from here and i will create new file that's called sidebar.blad.php save it 
and i will simply paste the entire section over here okay and then what i will do i will simply include that section so i will say admin theme dot sidebar simply save it and same thing inside the content there is also now bar so that's called top bar so i will simply cut this as well so simply cut and i will create new file for it so i will say now bar dot blad dot php okay and simply paste it over here and simply go and i will simply include it include and what i will do over here so simply i will say admin theme dot now bar so that content will automatically include over here and now you can see inside this container that all the changes will change so what i will do over here so simply i will yeah so simply i will go here and row and entire thing i will simply remove it so this this entire other part that's already coming in all the pages okay so same thing model also i will remove it right now we are not going to use that one so okay so you can see only this part will change for every page like profile page like country module settings and all so here i will simply say aid okay and inside the aid i need to give the section name so that should say content okay and simply save it and now inside the home page i will remove everything and simply first i will extend extend theme so that's theme call admin theme dot default okay so that means this is like uh, you know the admin theme is extend over here and then we already provided a section that's called content so what i will do i will simply start section okay so the same section and here i will say section name and then i will say and section okay and here i will be add the content so what i will do i will simply copy this for now from the profile and simply go to the home page and simply paste it over here okay and i will simply say dashboard and simply save it okay and if i refresh it you can see that only dashboard is there same thing i can do for profile so i will remove entire thing and simply do it like you know default in uh, extends and inside the content i will simply say profile save it okay and now if i go and profile you can see that okay and same thing i will copy for settings remove everything and now you can see that there is a settings okay simply save it and refresh it you can see that for the settings as well yeah you can see that now what is the benefit of this so let me go here and let me show you that if you go to the sidebar okay and there is an option called dashboard over here okay and now i will copy it okay and simply paste it over here and i will remove from the active and i will simply keep this as a profile save it refresh it you can see the profile added but all the pages that will add okay and remove that's called profile okay and same thing i will add settings settings and here i will simply say save it okay and if i refresh it you can see that uh, level let me change it as well settings okay and refresh it if you click on settings if you click on profile you can see that if you click on dashboard profile dashboard so you can see that you quickly you you don't have to change on every pages just you set up one theme over here like admin theme and then you can use it like this way okay home page just main content will change every time into the section same thing if you go to the profile then you want to change the title then what you need to do simply go here into the default you need to create another aid for it so this is my app name so i will do app app name is by default okay and then before that i will create another aid so that's called title and simply save it okay and now if i go to the home page here i will be add section that's called another section and i will say title okay and i will simply say home page okay and same thing i will do for profile so i will same thing i will add another for that like profile page save it same thing i will do for settings so i will set setting 
settings save it okay and if i refresh it you can see that there is a profile name okay and if i go here into the settings then you can see that the settings page and if you go to the dashboard then you can see that there is a dashboard so later on you can develop the other modules and you can make it dynamic these types of title and content and everything okay so you understand how easily and quickly we can set up the bootstrap admin theme in laravel application if you like with this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys